The Terminator series is an absolute gem in the world of pop culture and has gathered an enormous fan base over the years. Its legacy is undeniable, and the various characters that appeared in the movies have captured the hearts of fans worldwide. Among the many characters that stand out in the franchise, the T-800 Terminator is undoubtedly one of the most iconic ones. This character, famously portrayed by Arnold Schwarzenegger in the 1984 classic, has remained a fan favorite for decades. But what makes the T-800 so unique? Well, for starters, it is a cybernetic organism capable of taking on a human form to blend in with humans before carrying out its mission to terminate them. But that's not all, the T-800 has some remarkable physiological features that set it apart from other Terminators. So, today, we will dive deep into the T-800's anatomy and explore its incredible bodily functions. From its synthetic muscles to its advanced power cells, we will reveal everything you need to know about this formidable machine. But before we proceed, we have a small request. If you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support means the world to us, and it motivates us to keep creating exciting and informative content. So thank you, and let's get started on our exploration of the T-800's anatomy. The T-800's appearance and skin type have always been fascinating topics for Terminator enthusiasts. As Skynet's first cybernetic creation, the T-800 was a marvel of technology, made up of living tissues fused with a hyper-alloy endoskeleton. The endoskeleton was not only silvery and sleek, but also incredibly sturdy and durable, thanks to its advanced construction. What made the T-800's endoskeleton so special? For starters, it had frictionless bearings that were expertly fitted into its joints, allowing for seamless movement. Additionally, a sophisticated control system enabled the limbs to move in a straight line, providing unparalleled precision and accuracy. But that's not all. The T-800's exoskeleton was controlled by a triple-armored hyper-alloy microprocessor, which was a significant upgrade from its predecessor, the T-600. The T-800's axial drive motors also played a crucial role in controlling its bodily limbs, while a trailing link around its clavicles helped it move more efficiently and quickly. One of the most impressive features of the T-800's endoskeleton was its incredible strength. It was almost 40% stronger than that of the T-600, despite being relatively lightweight. It could withstand high-powered explosions and dangerous weapons without incurring any significant damage, making it a formidable opponent for any adversary. Lastly, the T-800 had a jack at the back of its head, which could be plugged into a cable to feed it new orders and missions. However, this feature was also used by the Resistance to reprogram the unit. Some T-800 models of Terminators were converted into special units known as Infiltrators. These Infiltrators were designed to take the form of human beings and infiltrate the Resistance, appearing to be living, breathing humans. The T-800 Infiltrator was covered with living tissue, which gave it a human-like appearance. This tissue allowed the T-800 to have flesh, hair, skin, blood, and other bodily substances that were necessary to blend in with humans. It also had a circulatory system that pumped out blood, making it even more convincing to those who encountered it. If the T-800 was injured while posing as a human, it could regrow any wounded tissue as long as the entire flesh was not destroyed. However, the time period for this regrowth is unknown. The living tissue in the T-800's body shared the same heat signature as human tissue, making it virtually undetectable by thermal scanners. Its body could even replicate bleeding, sweating, and aging, greatly enabling it to blend in among humans. However, Skynet's earlier designs had not yet perfected how to replicate human skin, which meant that the earlier Terminator models would start decaying after a while, and even give off a bad smell. Over time, the issue was fixed, and the infiltrator models were enhanced to mimic human skin perfectly. The T-800 was powered by a heart-shaped nuclear-powered cell, which was necessary to keep it going. While the T-800 was essentially a killing machine, it was also a marvel of engineering and technology that pushed the limits of what was possible. The T-800's ability to speak like a human was not only impressive, but it was also crucial in helping the machine blend in with human society. To achieve this, the T-800 was equipped with advanced vocal technology that allowed it to mimic human speech patterns flawlessly. 
The machine's vocal cords were composed of an advanced material that could vibrate at different frequencies, just like human vocal cords. To copy a human's voice, the T-800 would record and store syllables from the target's voice, and then synthesize a new speech pattern using these recorded sounds. This allowed the T-800 to sound like the person it was impersonating, from their tone of voice to their accent. The T-800 also had auditory sensors located in the same place as human ears. These sensors were capable of detecting a wide range of sounds and processing them quickly to identify a specific sound. This gave the T-800 the ability to listen in on conversations, even in noisy environments. All of these advanced technologies were powered by the T-800's nuclear-powered cell, which was located in its chest cavity. The power cell was triple-armored with hyper-alloy to ensure that it could not be damaged and was safe and secure. The cell could generate enough energy to power an entire city for a year, making the T-800 an incredibly powerful machine. However, this power source also posed a significant risk, as a malfunctioning cell could cause massive destruction. Let's dive deeper into the T-800's advanced vision system. The T-800 had an incredible set of optical sensors that gave it enhanced vision abilities that were far beyond human capabilities. These sensors could detect a broad spectrum of visible frequencies, allowing them to see in pitch black darkness, and then project the information on a 40,000-bit digital display. Its eyes were not only able to move independently, but also track two different directions simultaneously. The T-800's eyes had concussion-proof lenses, and it used a computer-generated off-angle image to create depth perception. It could detect, recognize, engage in motion tracking, and search and scan for objects with the help of artificial intelligence. These sensors could even magnify an image up to 15 times its original size using a zoom feature and night vision, which were programmed in Cobalt and 6502 assemblies. However, Skydet gave these infiltrators a unique feature to blend in with humans. Their eyes could cry. The T-800 had tear ducts that could be triggered, allowing the machine to shed tears if needed. This feature helped convince humans that they were dealing with a human being instead of a robotic killing machine. With such advanced optical sensors and features, the T-800 could not only see but also perceive and interact with the world around it in ways that humans could only dream of. But have you ever wondered why it doesn't feel any pain? The answer is simple, the Terminator does not have nerve endings. This means that they cannot sense pain like humans do. However, they have sensors that detect damage and injuries to their body, allowing them to repair themselves without the hindrance of pain. But the T-800's toughness doesn't just end there. These machines were built to last, and their durability is impressive. They were created in a highly secure vault that was guarded by an army of machines, and each T-800 was assigned a unique model number based on its human-like appearance. Inside the vault, rows of steel racks held countless T-800s. Each one fitted with a cryogenic hypermatrix to prevent their human exterior from decaying. The room was vacuum sealed to protect the T-800's skin from exposure to warmth, ensuring that their appearance remained as human-like as possible. The T-800s were designed to withstand the toughest of environments. Their construction was triple armored with hyper-alloy to keep them from going haywire due to the immense amount of energy they generate. The T-800's appearance as a human made it a unique and versatile asset on the battlefield. Skynet controlled these battle units with ease, thanks to the direct link command that was sent to the Chambers' robotic controls. Furthermore, they shared a collective consciousness through the operating system known as the Hive. These features allowed the T-800 to perform complex operations while appearing as a regular human, giving it a strategic advantage over other Terminators. The T-800 was incredibly durable, surpassing its predecessors T-600 and T-700. It was resistant to attacks and could engage in combat in unconventional ways that allowed it to annihilate opponents without sustaining damage. Although resistant to weak plasma weapons, it could still be destroyed by highly advanced plasma weapons. The T-800's intelligence was impressive, thanks to its CPU that could operate in read-write and read-only modes. This meant that it could continuously learn new skills and grow its consciousness, allowing it to make its own decisions rather than relying solely on programmed codes. An example of this was the T-800 named Carl, 
who gained a conscience after living among humans and learning their mannerisms. Many people wonder whether the T-800 Terminator has human reproductive parts, and if it can reproduce like in the Terminator movie. The answer is yes, Skynet designed the T-800 to have human features, including human genitals. Although these reproductive parts may serve no practical purpose for a machine, Having the same anatomy as humans was crucial for the T-800's ability to blend in with crowds of humans. The T-800 was a part of the infiltrator unit, and it was necessary for their bodies to have the same features as humans to avoid detection. However, it seems that Skynet preferred to leave the T-800s as killing machines rather than allowing them to reproduce. Although other Terminators, such as the T-850 and T-888, were seen engaging in intimate relations, it is unclear if the T-800 had the ability to impregnate. In Terminator Dark Fate, the audience is briefly led to believe that the T-800 has a son, but it turns out not to be the case. The T-800 only used its human body to infiltrate humans and live among them. While they have reproductive organs, they are only a part of their anatomy, allowing them to camouflage their true identity. The T-800 was primarily designed to function as a killing machine, with its impressive strength, intelligence, and ability to learn new skills. However, the fact that they were created with reproductive parts adds another layer of complexity to these machines and raises questions about their humanity. Even though the Terminator is an incredibly durable killing machine designed by Skynet, it's not indestructible. Even though the T-800 is built from metal, it has various weak points that can be targeted to bring it down. One such way is by using high pressure levels to crush it, which can be achieved through a hydraulic press or other similar means. Electric attacks can also be effective, but the T-800 can withstand some of them. Alternatively, weapons such as shrapnel, steel rods, or pipes can be used to decapitate the T-800 or weaken its body by piercing through its endoskeleton. Explosives, such as pipe bombs, can also be used to blow them up or dislocate their limbs. Certain rifles, including the 5.56mm NATO and the .50 Browning machine gun, can break through the T-800's armor and destroy them. Depleted uranium bullets can also penetrate their external armor and ruin their unit. While they are resistant to plasma weapons and corrosive agents, prolonged exposure to these elements can result in their destruction. Immediate maintenance and repair are required if any of the T-800's limbs or joints are injured. Neglecting maintenance could result in the T-800 starting to malfunction, and after working for decades, their servo motors may begin to malfunction, leading to their eventual destruction. In conclusion, the T-800 is a formidable killing machine that has proven to be one of Skynet's most advanced creations. Despite its many features and abilities, it is not indestructible and has several vulnerabilities that can be targeted to bring it down. If you enjoyed this content, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. And in the meantime, stay safe. And who knows, maybe we'll be back with more exciting information soon.